Well, as you can see, my buddy had some success last night. So I'm gonna do a short video on how we cape it out uh, to get it ready for him to take to his taxidermist. Um, just a few, uh, few cuts that we're gonna make um, and I'll talk as I go through them. But one of the most important things as, is when you're field dressing them, in this case, you know, he killed this last night, do not cut up uh, up into this chest and brisket area. You wanna stop about where that, that chest bone starts. So as you can see, we have plenty of hide left here to work with. Um, so you're gonna stop there. The first cut we're gonna make is gonna be a round circumference around the backside of this, even with where we stopped on the field dressing. So <clears throat> sharp knife, very, very important here. Uh, it's just, you're gonna make a lot less mess. Um, and throughout this whole thing, you're, you're gonna cut a lot less hairs and fibers and just gonna be cleaner for your taxidermist to work with. So um, in order to do that, it's best when you're cutting this hide to cut with the blade out. Uh, so you're cutting up through that hide. Um, the other thing too, again, to make it easy on your taxidermist is to try to leave as little meat as possible with the hide. Again, just easier for them to clean up. So we're gonna cut all the way through and around this deer. Connect our cut on that side. So as you can see, we have connected all the way through. We'll start just kind of skinning that down just a little bit. How you start on this as far as uh, getting clean away from the meat will make a big difference as you go. So just cut as close to the hide as possible without puncturing through it, obviously. Okay, so now the next two cuts we're gonna make are gonna be up the legs and we're gonna connect back to this. So you can do a, a, a cut around just like we did around here, but around the leg just above this joint, uh, cut around that. And then we're gonna follow, if you can see that white and brown hairline, we're gonna follow that up the leg around the elbow joint here. Then when we get past that kind of to this armpit area, we're gonna do a straight line up to connect to this cut. Um, the straighter, cleaner cut, again, is gonna make uh, life easy on your taxidermist. So we'll start by cutting a circle around this. Okay, so we made our first circular cut there. Now I'm just gonna follow this hairline all the way up. Again, cutting with the blade out. Okay, <clears throat> and you can kind of see that line here too, between the kind of the chest hair and then the, the side. We're gonna do the same thing, follow that line straight up. Just do a nice straight cut up to our connector up here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this other leg. And once again, just follow that white and brown line up and then the same thing here, straight up. Okay, so now we have our main cuts up each leg here around the, the midsection of the body. And now we're just gonna skin it down. And again, try to get as much of that meat off there as possible as you skin it down towards the head. A lot of this top part, uh, the hide's pretty thick, so you can move a little bit quicker through here. I find wearing gloves helps me pull down on the hide a little bit better uh, than not wearing gloves. But where you have to start being careful, a little more careful with your knife is once we get down in here where the, the hide gets a little thinner and it's easier to puncture through. But this top section you can move 
pretty quick. It certainly doesn't have to be perfect as far as the meat left on there, but it just makes it easier on your taxidermist. And this whole time you're kind of just grabbing a handful of that hide and pulling down to assist your cutting. So just kind of grab, pull, and cut against in between the meat and the hide. And it slides right off of there. Okay, so now we got it basically kind of tubed all the way down to the where the back of the skull meets the neck. And that's as far as we're going to go. We're, then we'll just take your knife and you kind of just cut through that neck meat. And then we have a saw here, we'll cut through the bone. And we'll take our, we're all the way through the meat, so we'll take our saw here, just make sure that hide is out of the way. All right, so here we go. Obviously, you saw I stopped at the top of the neck here, base of the skull. I highly recommend taking it to your taxidermist like this uh, for a couple of reasons. One, unless you really know what you're doing with regards to the eyes, mouth, nose, even the glands, this is an area that's pretty easy to mess up. And also, taxidermists kind of, there's a couple different methods with regards to cutting around the antlers. Um, and so, letting your taxidermist do it the way they want is always a better option. So uh, just like this, obviously keep it cool, dry. Don't throw like a wet bag of ice on it. Don't let it sit out in the sun. Uh, cool and dry. Uh, try to get it to the taxidermist as soon as possible. Um, or if it's going to be a later date, you can always freeze the whole thing and, and take it to them like that. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, good luck out there.